Hey guys, it's Val. So we are in the final stretch of this bed we made. So this is part four. We learned last time that Anna and Marcella were lovers back when they were younger and they decided to go their separate ways. And so they've been living a double life now for a few years, but they're meeting up again. I don't know if it's because Marcella's trying to help Anne escape her abusive marriage or if they're deciding that, you know, they're gonna go for it this time and be together. And then Paul Morgan doesn't completely fit into this just yet. We know that he was hired by Marcella, but we don't know what for. And then there was those three tickets to California that came for Anne. Now, we don't know if that means Marcella has already agreed to go with her, or maybe she's just going to show it to Marcella in hopes that she will come with her. Uh, we don't know. I've really enjoyed this story. It is kind of a slow burn, and just want to say thanks to everybody that has stuck around or just checked out one of the videos, but it is a really fun game so far, and I'm excited to see where it goes. So yeah. Let's go. That ringing. Sounds like the elevator doors are jammed. Oh my gosh, okay. Is there gonna be a dead body? Holy They were crawling, there's handprints. You know what's in the elevator, honey. Why did I know that that was what was in there blocking the door? <gasps> it's a man? Is that Bernard? Wait, who the fuck is that? What if it's Anne's husband and Paul Morgan is like hired to kill him? What? You can't save him, Sophie. How did we not hear that? Mr. Oh, Cruz? we were talking to Beth. Mr. Cruz? No. Mr. Cruz. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. What happened? I'm sorry. I'm sorry we're gonna tamper with evidence. Is this about Paul? Does that mean... Dear Mr. Cruz, thank you for reporting that guest's unacceptable behavior. We will look into it as soon as possible. However, I regret to inform you that we cannot divulge a guest's personal information regardless of that guest's behavior. As I am sure you will understand, we are very concerned with our guest's privacy and our staff prides itself on its discretion. Please contact us should that guest bother you again. Bernard. Oh no. Mr. Cruz's life insurance policy. Why did he have this on him? Yeah, that's weird. Marcella? Okay, let's not jump to conclusions. Oh my gosh. Is there anything else I can check out? I'm not gonna cover for anybody. That's all that's all I can do for you. That's all I can do is read your papers. How do I Oh, what the f Who turned off the damn power? You know what? I saw those fuses in here. I'm not even playing around right now. Might need this to restore power. This is it, right? Hmm, it's too big. Something I guess I'll pointier. Need something pointier. I don't think there's anything here that would help me. Sure, there is. Two hours later. Hello? I... We do need help. What the fuck? There was a struggle over here. Okay. Uh, why did it look at that puddle like okay. that? This looks like something I can use to open the fuse box. 
Okay, I feel like maybe I shouldn't step in that. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Well, at least he's not getting squished by the elevator doors anymore. All right, let's see if we can open it. Oh. Mm, it's too big. I guess I'll need that worked, thank God. Now, to get the power back. Remove the blown fuses. Which one's blown? Eugene, what I would give to have you with me right now. Oh, too bad Eugene's fired. <sighs> we'll have to make two. A 30 amp is gonna be fuse G. There you go. Is that it? Please? Oh, we did it. Okay. So now let's go look back for some clues. Got an achievement. Amateur electrician. Did somebody, I mean, did somebody tamper with this or it was just like perfect timing? Should I put the ice pick back? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I should. What if it's the murder weapon and I just touched it? You know what I mean? I might have messed up. Right there. Okay, so we've got... What is that over there? A camera? That's Mr. Morgan's camera. Marcella's necklace, maybe? A, B. Oh, and cigarettes. A, B. And Beaumont. They were all over here. Let's call for help. <laughs> Nobody answered? Is there anything I've forgotten? Once I leave this floor, I probably won't be able to come back. What? Power's back. Now I should go down to the lobby. Call the police. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the rest of these pictures of me. Okay. I think, I think this is all I can do. You know? Poor Hector. He didn't ask for any of this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why the hell couldn't we call the police from the room phones? Hopefully Beth is not dead too. What the fuck? What? Phone. I... I need a phone. Excuse me? That... That was funny, okay. Yeah, fuck the doors opening. Beth? Where is everyone? Didn't Beth say she was going to leave soon? So who's taking over in the lobby?
Let's just use the phone. We need to go ahead and call this in. Maybe there's a serial killer staying here. We don't know. This guest 602. Montreal Police Service, Station 22. There's a... There's a man dead. He's been murdered. I... I need the police. Please stay calm, ma'am. Where are you right now? At the lobby. But the body, it's... It's upstairs. Can you give me the address, please? Oh, um... 11... 1178 Drummond Street. All right, ma'am. Officers are on their way. Thank you. Oh, hey you. Great timing, right? I'm oh, thinking if she's we're struggling. Lucky, Bernard will let us go home. She's struggling. No point in working in the dark. Sophie? Bean, you're not scared of the dark, are you? Hey, is everything okay? I found Mr. No. Cruz. Hector. Oh, you did? What was the bloke up to? You don't understand. I found his body. He's... He's dead, Beth. Oh, merde. Merde. Sit down, okay? You look like you're about to faint. Have you called the police? Yeah, they're... they're on their way. What happened? Was there an accident? Oh no. No, I don't think so. Someone did this to him. You mean, merde? Do you think it could have been Anne and Marcella? Mm. I'm what guessing no. He and Hector were caught fighting. Hmm. The cops will want to talk to you, know what you've seen. You need to be careful about what you tell them. If word of Anne and Marcella's affair gets out, they may put a label on them that will really hurt them. It might not even matter in the end if they did it or not. What are you saying? It's just... Cops like to go after people who are different. People like Anne, like Marcella, like me. You know, I was barely 20 when I was shoved into a police car for just hanging out with people who made me feel like I wasn't so messed up after all. What? Where did that happen? At a bar called the White Cat. It's supposed to be a safe space, but it gets raided by cops every now and then. I know Anne was caught at least once too. Wait, you know her? No, I've never talked to her, but I've seen her a few times. Marcella and her, they're... Is Beth the one who They're wrote just like me? And that that uh message? Thank you. Thank you for trusting me with this. About saying like Maybe I know who you are. I understand why I care so much about you. I don't know if I'm feeling inspired by Anne and Marcella or if it's the shock of being so close to an actual murder, but um I'd really like for us to be more than just Oh friends, my so gosh. Funny. I, I'm sorry. I appreciate I, you. I'm not sure if I feel the same way or not. Oh. Appreciate you. Okay, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you have a lot to think about already. I don't want to You're my that. best friend! The police oh my gosh, here. should I have said yes? We need to Just stay focused. We are a detective. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking the way that I answer the questions with the cop will affect the ending. Miss Roy? So I might get this wrong. Miss Roy. Miss Roy. Oh, sorry. I was distracted. 
I really need you to focus right now. I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I was cleaning room 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring. Again and again and again. I thought maybe a child was playing with the doors, so I went out in the corridor, and that's when... That's when I saw him. All the blood and... Why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry? You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? I assume it wasn't a child after all. I'm not sure. A malfunction, probably? Why would I say that? His well, body. Mr. Cruz's body was preventing the doors from closing. Really? When we found the body, it wasn't that close to the doors. Oh, um, the stairs are blocked because of the renovations, so the elevator's the only way out of the fifth floor. I... I had no choice but to move the body. Just a little. Ah, so that explains the traces we found. Thank you for clearing that up. Mm hmm So... What did you do after that? Well, um, that's when the power cut. So I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box? Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power back on. But there's a lock on that box, isn't oh, there? Oh, shit. Did you have the key? No, I didn't. Only Eugene does. But the box wasn't locked. That was lucky. Yes. Very. Okay. Did you go near the ice machine at any That's point today? That's a believable today? lie. No. Are you sure? Yes, I am. So, what did you do after restoring the power? I took the elevator down to the lobby. That's where I called the police. Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words? I... No. I'm afraid I don't. You said there's a man dead. He's been murdered. That's possible. What makes you so sure it was murder? I mean, the guy was bleeding and crawling. I... I just assumed. Uh -huh. What with all the blood. It just didn't look like an accident. You know? I see. Would you say you're an observant person, Miss Roy? I think I would. I don't like this yes. detective. Good. Then maybe you can help me fill in a few details about this case. I'll do my best. Let's start with the victim's wife, Marcella Cruz. Apparently she left in quite a hurry this morning. What can you tell me about her? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean... If I was truly acting as only her maid, I wouldn't know anything about her. I don't really know anything. She just looks like a loving, caring wife. Really? That's odd, because we learned a lot about Mrs. Cruz when we went through her room. And let's just say that loving, caring wife are not the first words that would come to mind. Oh? She's a lesbian. Involved in some sordid affair with the guest from room 507, Mrs. Beaumont. Have you ever witnessed them engaging in immoral behavior? What do you mean? Immoral. I'm asking if you've seen them oh my gosh. being, you know, intimate. No, I haven't. No. And did you hear them discuss their deviant ways in front of Mrs. Beaumont's son, perhaps? Imagine. What kind of effect such perversion can have on a young child? No, I didn't hear anything. Did you hear them express their hatred of men? Did they ever talk about using violence against men? Did you hear them speak ill of Mr. Cruz? Take a stand or deny? Does take a stand mean like I'm gonna stand up and like get angry? I don't wanna piss him off. I'll just deny it. Cause I mean, we never, I never heard them say anything bad about Mr. Cruz. Anne's husband, yes. I forgot his name, but not Mr. Cruz. No, I didn't hear any of that. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. 
No, I'm sure you are. But we're not quite done yet, Miss Roy. Oh my gosh. We've learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. What can you tell me about him? Hmm. Damn, this is hard. Sure, he spent time in a psychiatric hospital, but... I don't, I don't know, know anything. Only that... He seems nice. Nice? I wouldn't be so sure. Oh? We found out that Mr. Spade is fresh out of a madhouse. When we called the place, they painted quite the picture of him. Did you ever see him display odd behavior in or around the hotel? No. I mean, we've all got our little quirks, don't we? Did he seem obsessed with Mrs. Cruz? A little, maybe, but... Obsessed enough to kill her husband? No, nothing like that. We all have our obsessions. Me, for instance. I'm obsessed with celebrities and gossip magazines, and... You don't seem to understand, Miss Roy. Mr. Spade is not like you and me. He may look like us, but he's not. He's dangerous and needs to be taken off the streets. So tell me, did you ever see him be violent or aggressive? No, no. I didn't. <sighs> All right, then. Can I leave now? Yes, yes, you can. Thank you for your cooperation, Miss Roy. We'll be in touch if we have any more questions. chipper on the phone that can't be a good sign I guess I'll know soon enough why was yeah, he chipper so different in here will it ever feel like it used to it'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens set him up look at this This damn mess. Ugh, go to hell. Beth. Hey. Are you okay? I'm out of a job. But other than that, yeah, everything's <gasps> just peachy. What? What? No, I, I hope you're luckier than I am. Come join me when he's done with you, all right? I'll be questioning my life choices on the mezzanine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Why did she get fired? Ah, Miss Roy. Come in. I suppose you know why you're here? I'm not sure, actually. Your phone call was a bit vague. Yes, well, I prefer to have this conversation in person. We've been getting a lot of press lately, and not the good kind. I wouldn't expect you to understand the position I'm in, but I assure you, it's quite uncomfortable to have one's life's work blown away like that. All thanks to some sexual deviance and a nut job. <laughs> it's obvious to me now that I haven't been firm enough. For guests of such morals to be comfortable booking a few nights here and, and, and committing such a horrid act? <sighs> no, things need to change. This means elevating our standards to the highest possible level, and it starts with the people working here. It starts with you. With me? Yes. From what I've heard, You've been quite the exemplary maid lately. Clean rooms, satisfied guests. I take my job very seriously, sir. As you should. I had planned to give this month's Employee of the Month title to Wendy, but since she's no longer with us, I'm thinking of giving it to you instead. Oh, I really? got it. <laughs> you should know it comes with the responsibility of being a glowing example for other staff members to follow. Mm -hmm. Is this something you believe you can do? 
Oh, a choice. I guess I'll say yes. Would it come with a reward? I see you're a pragmatist. Yes, it would. Okay, then I'll do it. Good. I expect you to be here on Monday, first thing in the morning. There's a lot of work to be done before the reopening. That'll be all. Holy shit. Sorry, Beth. I got bills to pay, honey. Hey. Hey. What a week. <laughs> yeah. So, what did Bernard want with you? He offered me the Employee of the Month title. Good for you, Bean! A shame I won't get to be there when you receive your reward. I'm so sorry. I just don't get why Bean, he fired not your her. I know, but it's so unfair that I get rewarded while you lose your job. Don't feel bad about it. You deserve it more than I do. Did Bernard say why he was firing you? Ugh. He was going on and on about keeping deviants out of the hotel. So, <laughs> I may have lost my cool a little. A little? I told oh. him I was one of those deviants he was oh, so afraid okay. of. He froze for a moment, then showed me the door. So, what's next for you? I think I'm done working under Bernard's or Linda's. Maybe it's time I become my own Bernard. Minus the fascism, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could see myself owning my own establishment. One that caters to the right kind of crowd. Believe it or not, I do enjoy the company of people. Just not, you know, the stuck-up, entitled clientele of this prestigious hotel. But maybe if I were behind the counter of, say, a bar instead of a reception desk. <sighs> I don't know. Is that silly? No, it's not. In fact, open up your own white cat. Make it a black You're the most cat. Charming person I know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad we're friends. Me too. You should know that I like women too. I like that you make me feel seen. What do you think will happen to our guests? The scene is fine. Still creates a friend boundary, but makes her feel appreciated. I've been thinking. I know so much about our guests. Paul, Anna, and Marcella especially. I know all of their secrets. And yet, if I were to walk by them in the street, they wouldn't even recognize me. Isn't it weird? Where are you going with this? I guess what I'm trying to say is... It's good to feel seen sometimes. And if I were to walk by you in the street, I'd like to think you'd recognize me. With a pretty face like yours? Oh. <laughs> of course I would, Bean. <laughs> Why do you call me Bean?
So that was This Bed We Made. It was a, a fun little detective game. I did mess up the ending. I did not catch the true killer. I was too worried about being caught snooping through the people's stuff and then getting myself arrested. There are four other endings, I believe. So if you want to check this game out, I got it on Steam. And that way, maybe you can find the real killer. Let me know what you thought down below and we'll see you guys in the next one.